Hi, this is tonight's rating. It says that the little one shouldn't watch tonight's episode, and I happen to agree. Here with a rebuttal is the devil. It's a delightful show. I recommend it highly for the whole family, especially the teeny little babies. <laughs> you disgust me. Give me your soul, and I will make you a huge hit. All right. Enjoy the show. Okay, so Lori's 20 points behind in the polls. Now, what we got to do is get a videotape of Councilman Krantz kicking this adorable little doggy. You know, I don't see how this is going to work. Don't worry, it'll work, all right? Now, the dog's trained to attack this scent. All you have to do is spray it on Krantz's leg. Good plan. He won't suspect a thing. I'll just pretend this is ordinary leg spray. Put that stuff away. You're driving the dog nuts. Distracting him, he's got work to do. Get him out of my pants! Come on, enough of this tomfoolery now. Come on. Well, there goes Krantz. I hope you two are happy. Ridiculous. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. Oh, Norm, you were supposed to be here two hours ago. Where have you been? Oh, yeah, Shelly and I went on a romantic bike ride in the park. <laughs> well, if you can call Norm sitting on my handlebars while I pedal uphill romantic. Boy, you run for city council thinking you can make a difference, and all they do is nitpick about your past. 20 years ago, I drive one tractor on one marijuana farm with my top on. <laughs> You see, this Kranz wants to shut down half the social service offices in the city if he's re-elected. I, I, I didn't hide for 25 years in the bowels of the city bureaucracy to lose my pension now. Sir, no wonder the city's backed up. You're hiding in the bowels. Lori, I'm depending on you, you know? Yeah. You, you, you think you can beat this guy? I did everything I could. I even tried dirty tricks with Norm, but they backfired. Oh, Norm, Norm, it's because Norm is an amateur. It's time for the big dog to get off the porch. <laughs> big dog, of course, is me. <laughs> know about politics well you don't know anything about my past i wasn't always a middle level functionary i i once worked for a man who won two national elections in the political arena who jolly gentleman <laughs> prone to facial sweating ginger from gilligan's island Shut up. You worked on Nixon's campaign? Well, I wasn't involved in the break-in, but I, uh, there, uh, there was a time I, I, I had to pistol whip Spiro Agnew. <laughs> Come on, Laura, you can't replace me with Denby. The only dirty trick he knows is how to make his privates disappear by pushing him between his legs. No, 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 stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, stop it. Norm, look, I'm sorry you screwed up, but you gotta be replaced. All right, fine, I'll just have a lunch with Shelly. Oh, hey, Shelly, listen, man. Uh, once again, my inability to follow through has left me free for a meal. So, uh, <laughs> why don't you come down, all right? Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, bye. Love you. See ya. Yeah. Seems like uh, things are moving along, huh? What are you talking about? Well, you just told Shelly you love her. What? I did? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Yeah, well, what, what, what's the big deal? Haven't you ever said love you to anyone before? No, I just said it once to Dan Marino. <laughs> You just won me $10,000. Plus, I said it through the TV, so I don't think you heard me. Oh, my God, Shelly's coming up here. I gotta figure out a way to fix this so she doesn't get the wrong idea, you know what I mean? You ready to go? Oh, yeah, hey, Shelly, yeah, I'm ready to go. Hey, uh, listen, Danny, Shelly and I are going to lunch, huh? Love you. Yeah. <laughs>
Love you too, big guy. Okay. Hey, Laurie, here, uh, can you do this paperwork for me? I love you. I got another idea about the paperwork. Why don't you file that in your large intestines? Get it in there any which way you can. Love you. Boy, you just love everybody today, don't you? Oh, no. I, I just believe that uh, if everybody said the word love more often, it would lose all its meaning. <laughs> love you, Mr. Danvich. Uh, listen, if this is a part of some kind of a psychotic breakdown, just leave me out of it. Oh, no, sir, I do love you. And, uh, and I'm not going to let you go until you say you love me, oh, sir. Safe. Would somebody please blow off the back of his head? Thank you, thank you. Uh, next question, please. Councilman, you said you were going to do a dirty trick during the press conference. What's going on? Just watch what Mr. Denby did. Well, how, how long does this city have to wait for a city council? Oh, that's it? You just cut his mics off? Just watch, watch. <laughs> that's how we made Muskie cry. So you think uh, Shelly heard you say love you? I don't think so, because she's acting the same. But uh, just to be safe, I told her I love you to everybody, the cab driver, the, the, the doorman out front. <laughs> I even told this homeless guy that ran up to me with a headless rat. I said, I love you. Hey, it's about time we had a guy's night out. Yeah, I haven't had a guy's night out in a really long time. And I really, really miss guy's night out. <laughs> You've never had a guy's night out, have you? Not with other guys, no. Hey. Hey, Shelly. Don't worry. I'm meeting Lori here. I'm not going to interrupt your boy's night. I'll be gone soon, and you can braid each other's chest here. That's not what we do. Is it? Norm, before I go, I need your opinion. I'm, uh, well, thinking about doing some decorating in your living room. What? Well, you know, I just want to get your reading lamp. Is halogen okay? I don't need a reading lamp for my living room. I don't have a toilet in there. Okay, I'll just pick it out myself. A lamp, huh? Hey, why is she decorating your apartment? Did you say something to her to make her think, you know, you were getting serious? No, nah, I don't think so. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> you better be talking to your beer. <laughs> no. Norm said "Love you to Shelly. Yeah, it just slipped out, you know. It's like that time I said it to Dad. <laughs> How could you tell her you love her? Have I taught you nothing? Look, Artie, I don't need your input, all right? When your blow-up doll gives you a lamp, we'll talk. Hey, when my blow-up doll brings me a lamp, she's out of there. You actually have a blow-up doll? No. Listen, man, the lamp is just the beginning. Next thing you know, she's gonna start bringing all this girly stuff over your apartment, you know, like doilies and curlers and salad. Then you wake up one morning and you got a cat. Is that what you want, a cat? No, I don't want a cat. Then comes the ultimatum. Ultimatum? What ultimatum? Well, she's gonna want a commitment. So she'll say something like, I'm tired of the city, it's dirty, I need a change, you know? And you'll say, you don't need a change, stay. And she'll say, there's nothing here for me. Then you'll go, well, what about me? And three months later, you're married, hiding in the bathroom with a fifth of vodka, wondering if you could fire a shotgun with your toe. I don't take this the wrong way, Artie, but if I ever get married, you know, I, I might ask somebody else to do the toast. <laughs> Artie might have a point, though, you know? I mean, uh, Shelly obviously heard you say love you, so she's bringing over a lamp because she thinks you're getting serious. Yeah, yeah, but it was an accident. You know, this is moving way too fast. I, I gotta figure out some subtle way to, to slow Shelly down. This is perfect. <laughs> this is the last thing Shelly will see before her retinas begin to smoke. It's a little more light, so what? So what? I can see the bones through my hand. Oh, my God. It is coming from in here. Oh, Shelly, good. You brought your lamp. Yeah, I didn't think I needed more light in here, but uh, you did, so why don't you show me that dark spot you're concerned with? Norm, 
Worm, you should have just told me you didn't want the lamp. I can understand that some people don't like other people decorating their houses. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess I, I wanted you to know that I like things the way they are, and that's the way it is. Well, I wouldn't want to force anything on you. Do you mind if I use your bathroom? Oh, yeah, sure, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, don't turn the light on, though, or the city will lose its electricity below 23rd Street. <laughs> you idiot! She didn't mean anything by the lamp. You got me all paranoid over nothing. Now, come on, you gotta get out of here. Come on, beat it. <laughs> hey, what am I supposed to do at my place? All my lamps are over here. <laughs> Well, why don't you use the light in your refrigerator? It's not like that door is ever closed. Bye, Artie. Yeah, take it easy. <laughs> hey, Shelly, listen, man, I'm sorry. I, I was crazy about all those lamps, man. Don't worry about it. Man. Why don't we just uh, relax here and uh, why don't I get a little more romantic? <laughs> Hello, little lady. Um, look, Norm, there's something we need to talk about. Yes. See, the thing is, I've been thinking about where I am and, and how things are going, and I realized I'm getting tired of the city. Uh, geez, I was afraid you'd get tired of the city there. It's so dirty, don't you think? No, I don't. Or maybe I do, you know? I'm not sure. I don't think I want to commit to whether I think the city's going to be. Can't we just live with the city for a while, see how it goes, you know? Uh, well, see, that's the thing. I've got this job interview in Colorado tomorrow, and it's not that I'm not happy. It's just that sometimes I look around me and I wonder, what's here for me? Oh, you pose an interesting question. What's here for me? <laughs> it makes me sweat. As most interesting questions do. <laughs> well, it's just some stuff to think about. Yeah. Um, I've got to go pack. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Bye. I can't believe it, Wiener Dog. Artie was right. What am I going to do now? All right, all right, take it easy. I'm not going to get a cat. Since I've taken over your campaign, your poll numbers have improved dramatically. Well, I appreciate all the work that you guys have done, but I have to say that the storyboard you sent me for the TV ad, that's getting a little rough. Rough? Well, yeah, I mean, the part where I open up Krantz's head and eat his brains with a spoon. No, 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 you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't eat his brains. You spit them out. His brains are full of corruption. Right, but you're not hearing me. I have a problem with the whole eating organs area. No, you're not hearing me. You don't eat the brains. You spit them out, and then perhaps you, perhaps you dance on them. Uh, can, can you dance? Uh, if you can't dance, it's all right, because the dwarves I've got are all great dancers. <laughs> you know what bothers me so much is not that she gave me the ultimatum. It's that she wasn't straight about it, you know? Nobody manipulates me into making a decision, except for that uh, crafty temptress from Sprint last week. Mm. Oh, we're here for you, Norm. You'll see, you're better off without her. I mean, uh, yeah, look at this poor sap over here, chained in a relationship. You know, if some hot girl were to walk in right now, there's absolutely nothing he could do about it. Look at that, now he's got twice the trouble. You know what? I'm on the phone, Shelly. You know, she doesn't even know how upset I am. I'm gonna call her in Colorado and tell her. Oh, hey, you hear that? Aqualung? Yeah, that's Shelly and my song. She let Aqualung be your song? Yeah. Wow. I never heard of a chick letting Aqualung be your song. How did that happen? Well, we were at the Demolition Derby and it was blaring over the loudspeakers. And uh, then she got all liquored up, she jumped over onto the track, and she got me one of them bumpers as a souvenir. Shelly did that? Wow, well, you're lucky, man. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing about Shelly, you know, is it looks like she's real straight lace and everything on the outside, but when she loosens up, man, she's almost as fun as a dude. She likes Aqualung? <laughs> you know, 
Well, maybe I said love you to Shelly because I do. What, are you serious? What am I doing, man? I could spend the rest of my life with Shelly, or I could spend it here sandwiched between 480 pounds of idiot. <laughs> and Danny. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, is Lori here yet? Whoa! What did you... What'd you do to the place? Yeah, I womaned the place up. Do you like it? This isn't a trick like when you told me it'd be really funny if I dressed up like Liza Minnelli for Halloween, is it? No, no, no. Don't tell anybody this, but uh, when Shelly comes tonight, I'm gonna ask her to move in with me. That's huge! Have you ever uh, lived with a woman before? No, no, no. But when I started thinking about it, you know, about what Shelly means to me and everything, I started to get all these, uh, you know, I want to say emotions. <laughs> <laughs> you ever have those emotions? <laughs> hey, I think my Lucite toilet seat with the dried flowers inside is going to be a big hit with Shelly. <laughs> it's like taking a dump in a meadow. <laughs> oh, hey, Danny, can you get the door there, man? Put on the news. My commercial's gonna be on in the first break. Why is the TV on? Excuse me, my aromatherapy machine is plugged into that outlet. <laughs> What'd you set it for? Diapers and fish? Okay, here we go. This is it. Here we go. Coming up, shocking and sad news to report tonight. City Councilman Warren Krantz is dead at the age of 56. <laughs> oh, my God. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Laurie Freeman, and I believe it's time to put Warren Krantz and his big business agenda where it belongs. <laughs> See you in hell, Warren Krantz. Paid for by the committee to elect Laurie Freeman. You're a good dancer. I'm gonna see how much you have to drink to go back in time. Come on. Well, it wasn't that bad, was it? No. Oh. Sir, you must feel just horrible about this. Yeah. You think it'll be all right? No. Did I miss your commercial? Oh. So I hope you're not gonna blame me for this. You know, my original concept was you chewing the brains of a living man. Hey, Norm. Hi, hi Shelley. Hey, listen, come on over and sit down. Uh, I want to. I want to play something for you. But uh, first, I gotta ask you a real important question. Does it have anything to do with your apartment being so girly now? Maybe. <laughs> Then I better go first. Um, look, Norm, I don't know how else to say this, but to just say it, uh, I got offered that job in Colorado, and I'm taking it. What? I thought you were just bluffing me to try to get me to commit. Oh. <laughs> no, Norm, I was serious. I, I really do hate the city. And even though I really care about you, uh, we're not in the point in our relationship to change our lives for each other. I got a dust ruffle for my bed. <laughs> Norm, I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh. Well, no, you didn't hurt me. Uh, well, I know. You're mistaken. You think that all this redecoration is for you, right? Well, <laughs> isn't it? No, that's the important thing that I had to tell you. I'm gay. <laughs> You don't have to do this. No, I understand. I mean, that's just the, the way that things are. Norm, I wish you would just talk to me. I mean, I don't want it to end this way. Well, I, I, I don't have anything left to say. Okay. Um, call me sometime. Yeah, I'll see you.
I would also like to say I feel that there is no shame in losing to a dead man. <laughs> he ran a good campaign. He should be proud. <laughs> and alive. Uh, I would also like to congratulate the various write-in candidates who beat me. Uh, Mr. Charlie Brown. Mick E. Mouse. Crackhead Bob. And second place finisher, porn star, Wendy Whoppers.